this play was written almost, uh, some people think, as, as kind of Eugene O'Neill working through his apology or his for forgiveness of his own brother. Because a lot of this is very close to fact of things that happened in his life, events in James James's life. I came across my first O'Neill in college. I did the Harry A. And this language in Moon for the Mr. God is much different than that. It doesn't seem like the same writer, although it is. But I can relate to this particular O'Neill because I do a lot of August Wilson. And their writing is very similar. There's this August Wilson aspect about it. There's this um, uh, restoration comedy aspect about it. There's these long thoughts that we don't really speak that way anymore. Everything is um, so quick. You get to figure out your own tempos and your own, just how everything goes. Every time we go through a scene, I'm excited as to how different it can feel every time. And just being able to pick apart a scene line by line the way that we've been able to has been very cool for me. You also realize how incredible these actors are you're working with. Because you get to see them like at the very beginning um, when we're all figuring our stuff out and then at the very end when they're like really taking like huge strides and huge swings at, at this like massive text. It's great. Well, I, I like the comedy aspects of it, but it, the comedy is not like a uh, set up punchline, you know. It comes out of the natural conversation of the people, and this is what this is who they are, this is what they believe. And it's actually a, a great theatrical craft to, to lighten us up like that, to keep it light, and it gradually turns, you know, into the our idea of an O'Neill play. It is a nice show to sit down and, and get to know a character. There's not a lot of in the a, a lot of them in the play. It's not very plot heavy. Um, it's a character study because then it, it gives context. Where we're going next is then contextualized by how the audience is reacting. So sometimes we're able to like in that pause set them up for the thing that they wanted or give them something that they really weren't expecting. Um, Playing with those juxtapositions is always really fun. I, I think that this one's going to be really interesting and it might bring up questions that people aren't quite prepared to think about when they think they're coming to see Moon from the Spigot. Um, and I think that's really interesting and really fun uh, to ask people to think a little bit. So. Mm -hmm.